Hey Flaunters! So today we're going to be learning how to do the caterpillar climb. So before we do so, there is an exercise that I want you to test out to make sure you're comfortable with. Once you're comfortable with this exercise, then you'll know it's time for you to attempt the caterpillar. If you're not comfortable with it yet, there are so many conditioning exercises on the Fit to Flaunt app that will help you to build your strength and have you doing the caterpillar in no time. You're going to go into an inversion. And you're going to bring your hands down. From here, you're going to bend your knees, arching your back to make sure your hips are away from the pole. Now, to do your caterpillar, you need to be able to do this exercise first. You're going to go down, push out, and push up. Again, you go down, out, up. As you can see, when I'm doing this exercise, my knees are not moving. That's because I understand how to squeeze with my ankle and my feet. All right, now let's take it up on the pole. We're going back to our inversion. And from here, I want to make sure that I have my dominant arm, belly button height. My opposite hand is forehead height. I'm gonna push away, imitating the same movement I was doing on the floor, squeezing the pole with my knees to bring my hips up, then I want to grab the pole as high as possible in my elbow grip. I'm then going to straighten my legs, reposition my hands, forehead, belly button. I'm pushing away, using my knees to push my hips up, grabbing with my elbow grip as high as I can or as close to my knees as I can, extending my legs. Now let's go over some of the more common mistakes that students make when attempting the caterpillar. Because the caterpillar by itself takes so much energy, when doing it incorrectly, it can feel almost like it's impossible. The first and most common mistake that students make is when your hands are in position, you're trying to push straight up. I know, it's so hard. So trying to push straight up wastes a lot of energy. Again, you need to push away from the pole and then use your knees to bring your hips up. You never want to try to push your hips straight up. Second mistake that students usually make is not having your hands in the right position. Instead of having your hands forehead height where you can push up much higher, students have the hands closer to the floor. Now when you push away and push up, look at that, your hips don't go as high and now it's gonna take you a lot more climbs to reach the top of the pole. All right, now let's see the last most common mistake. The final mistake that I see all the time is not squeezing your knees enough. You're in position, your hands are perfect. Now when you're pushing away and up, your knees are coming down. So guess what that means? That means you just did all of that work just for you to stay in the exact same spot. Let's see that again. Students push away, they push up, their knees come down, and then they extend their legs. And that just means you haven't done enough conditioning exercises so that your knees can stay in the exact same spot when you're doing your caterpillar exercise. All right, Flaunters, there you have it. Follow those tips and avoid those mistakes and I can't wait to see your caterpillars. Again, if you have any questions, you can always DM me or submit your video or picture in the discussion board on the Fit to Flaunt app.